it's Jessie V. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be reacting to some very creepy, like, 1900s black and white sepia, sepia, sepia? Sepia. Halloween costumes. <laughs> and I got this idea because of the whole old Disneyland costume thing. I was wondering if the characters at Disneyland looked so creepy back then, maybe people's Halloween costumes would look really creepy as well. And let me tell you, I was right. These things are actually terrifying and there were so many online, like I found over 50 that this video is going to have to be a part one and part two because there's so many to react to. So hopefully that's okay with you guys, but I promise as I react to them, they only get scarier and scarier. So just be prepared, okay? Prepare yourselves. It just confuses me how people actually wore these things out and thought it was normal. You know what I mean? But well, I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to move my chair. So you guys can properly see the pictures, okay? Look, my, my head's gonna be right on this hand back here, okay? Hand on head. So here we go. Um, this is the first one. Do you guys see what I mean about these being scary? But at the same time, if this was in color, maybe I wouldn't be as freaked out. Maybe it's just solely the fact that it's in sepia. Sepia. Sepia? Sepia? I don't know how you pronounce it. Sepia. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they're just two scary pumpkin heads. I don't know if they're supposed to be like scarecrows or something, but let me tell you, they are, they scare. Scare, scarecrows, they scare. <clears throat> I am uh, not really good at this. But yeah, if these two walked up to my house to trick or treat, I would probably slam the door and run away and hide under my bed. This is the next one. Um, Yes, it's kind of silly, but at the same time, okay, so I understand that like this girl is supposed to be gin. Like that makes sense. She's just this giant bottle of gin. But like the guy, what is his face supposed to be? He looks like one of those um, Muppets. You know what I mean? One of the Muppets. What's that thing that goes like, Meep, 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 meep. You know what I mean? What's his name? I have to look this up. The Muppets meep, meep, meep guy. Meep, 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 Oh, I think his name is Beaker, right? That's his name? Oh my gosh. That's basically what this guy is going as. But yeah, it's also scary at the same time because this is like evil Beaker. Sorry, I'm like caressing my foot as I look at these pictures. I'm just a really strange person. So um, here we have two ladies sitting on chairs on their porch. I don't know what, what they're supposed to be. They're just like these creepy men, men masks, big lips, big like, what are these called? These are eyebrows, okay? I know these are eyebrows. And then I, don't, I just don't get it. <laughs> and they're still in their dresses. I think through researching stuff like this, I found out that masks were a really popular thing to wear back then for Halloween because apparently your normal face is just not good enough. You know, putting makeup, creepy makeup on was not good enough. It had to be a mask. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this poor little girl, <laughs> she was probably like, oh mom, I want to be a princess for Halloween. And that's why she has on the little, you know, dress there. But then the mom was like, no honey, you need to be scarier. And then proceeded to give her this creepy mask. Right now she looks like a princess gone wrong. She's like a princess who stayed up in her castle for too long, the prince forgot about her, she was never rescued, and now this is what happened. She even grew some beard, you know? Ah, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I assume this is like a little boy's father or something, but what the heck? Like at first glance, I did laugh at this picture, but like when you zoom up really closely, whatever this father's trying to be for Halloween, it looks like it's actually delusional and insane. And the kid's like, Dad, Dad, please go away, Dad. Put me down, Dad. Dad, what are you? I don't like those big eyes, Dad. Put me down. The kid just does not look comfortable. I think the father's trying to be like a, a farmer or something. That's why it has like the, the plaid and the big and the big mustache and the, the farmer's hat. Not that all farmers look <laughs> look that freaky because I don't think they do. But yeah, my, my heart goes out to this kid. Um, you know, this was probably, you know, a group of friends and they were like, you know what? We like elves. We like wood elves. We should all just be wood elves for Halloween and take a group picture. So like they really tried to make these really cool elf masks and they just turned out to be terrifying. And I don't think they even realized it because they still took this, this group photo together. Ooh, these sort of masks 
remind me of something from The Purge. It's like that sort of porcelain baby doll face look. And I just want to know why they thought it would be cool to just take a picture of them peeking around the bushes. Because that just makes it even worse. That makes me feel like I'm going to be walking down the street in my neighborhood and suddenly I'm going to see these things like just peering out from behind the bush at me or something. And can we just zoom up on the one on the right? Like, I feel like that's the face you make when you accidentally fart in front of your crush. Just like, <gasps> I hope we didn't hear that. Oh boy, this little child. This little kid is really tiny. I mean, like, look at the steps beside him. Those are probably normal sized steps. And then look at him. He's literally the size of three steps. <laughs> but like, honestly, that was literally me as a child. I just don't know why parents want to make their kids look so terrifying. Like, when I am a kid, I want them to make friends. I want them to feel included. I don't want people to run away from them, you know? Um, <laughs> see, a lot of these photos, like, you can just laugh and you laugh and you get it out of your system and after the laughing is done you're like yeah but that's scary though I don't really know what to say about this one I mean definitely a creative costume for sure but that is like a full-grown adult dressed as a bat and once that sinks into your mind you're like huh he probably terrified some kids for life oh boy oh boy <laughs> um yeah I don't know like this person's dressing up as what like an old grandma or something why couldn't they just paint you know wrinkles on their face or just like you know makeup just take a little thing and just make yourself look old but no you gotta wear that whatever that is it's something about the eyes always looking so shocked what's with that oh my what the heck I feel like someone on the internet just like took this old photo of this kid and took the pumpkin face and put it on her because like I don't think that's a mask it doesn't look real but I can tell you that it looks terrifying that's for sure I mean it's possible that the parents were like you know what let's make you look just like the pumpkin we carved honey but um I doubt it I really doubt it Woo! these are some more um, scary pumpkin heads I think this one is definitely photoshopped as well just because the heads don't look like that realistic but who knows who knows, right? And plus, the rest of the picture is like sepia, 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 sepia! <laughs> and like the pumpkin heads are slightly colored if you can look at them. I don't know. I don't want to analyze this for too long because it's freaking me out. Um, yeah, so this is what a street slash sidewalk looked like on Halloween night with all of these kids. Now, can you tell that tons of them are wearing masks? <laughs> you know how a lot of people say nowadays like, oh, I wish I could go back in time, you know, to like the 40s or, you know, the, the 20s. But like looking at this picture of what Halloween night looked like on a sidewalk and on a street I would never want to go back in time to this I was already an anxious child like I already hated going out socializing You know being in public around other people if the streets looked like this I would just never leave my house So I mean it's a good thing that Halloween costumes have evolved a bit this I mean, it's cute at the same time and also unsettling. It just looked like this kid really wanted to be. Is that a bunny or a ghost? I guess it's a bunny because there's whiskers. I mean, what ghost has whiskers? No offense to any ghosts that might have some whiskery facial hair, but like, this is definitely a kid who just wanted to make their own bunny Halloween costume. You know what? I commend them for doing that. I just think they need a little bit of help. You know what I mean? Like just a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of tweaking to make it better. This. What is this? Why? Why? <laughs> are they wearing giant locks on their face as well? Like, what are they supposed to be? It's just crazy because these, the, all of the heads take up most of their body. I don't know, guys. These are just insane to me. Ugh. What are they supposed to be? You know, the other crazy thing is I have not recognized really any costumes yet. Like, do you recognize any of these characters from a show or like a movie? Because I just don't know what these people are supposed to be. It must have been trending to like have massive eyeballs staring at people while you trick-or-treated <laughs> this poor cat it's like human human put me down please human human have you lost your mind why is there fur on your face human I don't know if this person was trying to make a costume that looked like their cat or if they were trying to be a terrifying werewolf because either one it's not really working too well at the poor cat this cat is not gonna look at their human the same after this you know what I mean oh boy this looks like a class picture taken and maybe like I don't know grade three or something I don't know if they're all wearing the poop emoji on their face or if they're supposed to be like ghosts but this teacher probably sat them down the day before Halloween and was like, Guys, no more cute costumes for Halloween. No one cares about cute costumes. All of you should look as terrifying as possible. And then we'll take a class picture, okay? Okay, 
see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, I kind of understand the guy wearing that little mask on his face. Like, that's kind of like normal. I've seen those in stores before. But like, the duck faces? Why? 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 Oh man, if uh, that guy on the right came up to me and started talking to me, I just like would want to move the nose out of the way. You know what would be cool? If maybe you guys have grandparents that have pictures of their Halloween costumes as kids, like that would be cool for me to react to, like your grandparents or great grandparents' creepy costumes. If they had creepy costumes, I don't know. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. Oh man, do you know what this reminds me of? You know that thing from Insidious, that really creepy old lady that wears the black? This is what this reminds me of. I know like she doesn't have the piece over her head or anything, but this gives me very, like it gives me Insidious vibes. Wait a second. Hold on, I just noticed something else about this picture. Why is she wearing rollerblades? What? That is so, I did not expect to see those. What the heck's going on? Um, this is, I guess, a person trying to dress as a werewolf, but at first glance, I thought that their mask was a coconut. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was a nice, juicy, hairy coconut that you could just crack open and have some coconut juice. Coconut water, it's very healthy for you. <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, there's just so much more, guys. Like, that's why I'm gonna make a part two, so hopefully you're enjoying this because you guys should just see like the rest of them. Oh my goodness. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with the idea that I came up with. If you guys have grandparents or great grandparents that have pictures of their old Halloween costumes, definitely, first of all, get their permission first, but um, tweet me the pictures or send me an Instagram DM and um, yeah, maybe I'll make a video reacting to them depending on how many I get. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll be posting a part two, so get ready. And um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!